Well, axial back pain is typically secondary to degeneration of the lower back or the lumbar spine. Uh, as we age, the joints also age and they break down and this can contribute a lot to pain with movement and activity. Axial back pain is one of the most common concerns for patients in the United States because of how prohibitive and how much it can affect their quality of life. It can cause limitations in really any activity of daily living. It can make it challenging to get up, move around, even sit. Sometimes being in any type of uh, stationary position for a long, prolonged period of time can exacerbate the pain. So it can have a really negative effect on people's quality of life. So whenever somebody has uh, ongoing lower back pain and they've failed uh, conservative management with physical therapy, injections, and so forth, then they may be a, a good surgical candidate. I like to think of surgery as kind of being the last resort to help fix uh, lower back pain. And the type of surgery depends on what the primary concerns are in the back. Uh, if you have truly just localized axial back pain that doesn't travel into your legs, you may benefit from a fusion type procedure. If you have just radicular features and no back pain, you may just need some pressure taken off of the nerves. And it may be some combination of the two.